Hi, myself Dr. Sumit Agrawal. I am a consultant plastic surgeon. Today I am going to discuss about a very uh, common query that are the results of hair transplant permanent. Uh, this is a very common query uh, before any, uh, everyone or anyone decides their search for the best hair transplant surgeon in Mumbai. And it is quite a genuine query because hair transplant is a surgical procedure and it involves efforts in both time and money. So today I'm going to explain the reason why the results of hair transplant are permanent. Genetically or embryologically, the hairs on the top, the front and top of the scalp have a different origin compared to hairs on the back and the side. So even although all the hairs on the scalp look similar, but they do not have same embryological origin. That's why the hairs on the front and the top of the scalp, they behave differently to the DHT hormone, which is the primary cause of the hair fall. Uh, whereas the hairs on the back and the side uh, do not uh, get affected by the DHT levels because they have a different embryological origin. So the hairs on the front and top of the scalp, they are genetically or embryologically planned to be uh, sensitive to DHT hormone, which is the primary cause of hair fall. That's why these hairs can fall in if someone is having more sensitivity to DHT hormone. And this sensitivity varies a lot from individual to individual. It can be different even in twin brothers. So some people may lose the hairs at an early age, have uh, those who are having increased sensitivity, but some people may not even lose it at lower age, having lower sensitivity to DHT hormone. But the back and the side hairs of the scalp, they are not they are embryologically different and they are not sensitive to DHT hormone. So that's why you must have seen even uh, in advanced patterns of uh, advanced grade of hair loss or in old age, these back and side hairs are still there because they are not sensitive to DHT hormone. And this is a universal rule. It applies to every male. That's why in hair transplant, these uh, back and the side hairs are plugged and put into the front area because these hairs are uh, not sensitive to DHT and they retain their characteristics even when they are transplanted to front area and they grow there forever. Uh, they do not fall. But this doesn't mean uh, that you are sorted out forever because although the transplanted hairs are permanent, the remaining existing hairs on the front and the top of the scalps are still sensitive to DHT hormone and they can fall uh, uh, in future uh, and making visible new areas of hair loss. That's why even after transplant, you are advised to continue medical treatment to maintain the new, uh, maintain the existing hairs. But there is a uh, still a possibility that even after the medical treatment, over uh, many years, you may lose some of more of your existing hairs and you may require another transplant in future. So uh, you re require to take care of your hair even after the transplant. Uh, the transplanted hairs are permanent, but yes, over the, uh, as, as with the aging, these hairs also thin out and get gray. Uh, if you have any more queries regarding uh, hair transplant, uh, how does it works, or uh, you can write us or uh, call us at 932-004-8601. Thank you.